spirit animals, animal totems, and familiars. Depending on the culture, you know, they all have different meanings. Sometimes they're used synonymously, but for the most part, they all have different meanings and functions. <laughs> Typically, spirit animals are thought to provide guidance and protection to individuals as they navigate their life's path. Animal totems, on the other hand, serve as symbolic representations that are linked to a specific group or tribe. In general, a spirit animal refers to an animal that is believed to serve as a spiritual guide or guardian for an individual. It is often seen as a representation of the person's higher self or inner wisdom. Spirit animals are believed to offer guidance, protection, and support to the individual in their life journey. They use their animal qualities and experiences to help facilitate lessons. The concept of spirit animals is commonly found in shamanic traditions and indigenous cultures. For example, a wolf spirit that shows you their perspective of loyalty to help teach you about it. On the other hand, animal totems are symbols or representations of specific animals that hold symbolic meaning and significance in certain cultures or belief systems. Animal totems are often associated with specific qualities, characteristics, or lessons that the animal embodies. These totems act as guides or sources of inspiration, providing insights and techniques, providing insights and teachings, to individuals or communities. A totem animal is an animal spirit that you call upon or invoke those qualities in order to aid you in a task. For example, invoking a crane totem to help you be poised and graceful. While there may be some overlap between the concepts of spirit animals and animal totems, the specific meanings and practices associated with these terms can vary across different spiritual and cultural traditions. So origin and cultural context. The concept of spiritual animals is deeply rooted in shamanic traditions and indigenous cultures where they are seen as spiritual guides or allies. These cultures often have specific rituals and practices to connect with and understand the messages from spirit animals Animal totems, on the other hand, can be found in various belief systems and spiritual practices, including Native American traditions, paganism, and New Age spirituality. Personal connection versus collective symbolism. So spirit animals are believed to have a personal connection with individuals. They are seen as unique guides that are specific to an individual's spiritual journey, offering personalized guidance and support. Animal totems, on the other hand, can be seen as more collective symbols that hold meaning for a broader group or community. They may represent certain qualities or lessons that are relevant to a particular culture or belief system. So spiritual guidance versus symbolic representation. Spirit animals are often seen as spiritual beings with consciousness and the ability to provide guidance and protection. They are believed to communicate with individuals through dreams, visions, or intuitive insights. Animal totems, on the other hand, are more commonly seen as symbolic representations of certain qualities or aspects of life. They can serve as reminders or sources of inspiration for individuals to embody those qualities to learn from the animal's behavior in nature. Relationship and connection. The relationship with a spirit animal is often seen as a deep and personal connection that develops over time. It may involve rituals, meditations, or ceremonies to establish and strengthen the bond. Animal totems, on the other hand, can be discovered or assigned based on various factors such as birth date, 
personality traits, or life circumstances. They may not necessarily require a deep personal connection, but can still offer valuable insights and teachings. Symbolism and characteristics. Spirit animals are often associated with specific qualities, traits, or symbolism. For example, a bear may represent strength and courage, while a wolf may symbolize loyalty and intuition. These qualities are believed to be reflected in the individual who connects with that particular spirit animal. Animal totems, on the other hand, can represent a wider range of characteristics and symbolism. They may be associated with certain elements, seasons, or life stages, and can offer guidance and teachings based on those associations. Evolution and change. Spirit animals can sometimes change or evolve over time, depending on an individual's spiritual growth and life experiences. As a person evolves, their spirit animal may change to reflect their new challenges or lessons. Animal totems, on the other hand, are often seen as more stable and consistent throughout a person's life. They may remain the same, providing a constant source of guidance and support. Interpretation and personal experience. The interpretation of spirit animals and animal totems can vary depending on personal experiences and intuitive insights. While certain characteristics or symbolism may be commonly associated with specific animals, it is important to trust your own intuition and personal connection to these beings. Your own experiences and relationship with a particular animal can shape the meaning and significance it holds for you. Integration application. Both spirit animals and animal totems can offer valuable insights and teachings that can be integrated into your daily life by embodying the qualities or lessons associated with your spirit animal or animal totem. You can cultivate personal growth, resilience, and spiritual connection. This integration can be done through meditation, reflection, studying the animal's behavior, or seeking guidance from spiritual teachers or practitioners. Remember that the understanding and practice of spirit animals and animal totems can vary among individuals and cultures. It's important to approach these concepts with an open mind, respect, and a willingness to learn from diverse perspectives. Now, let's talk about animal familiars. So again, depending on the culture, these beings can be any type of spiritual being that assists, guides, protects, and or heals their person. So a lot of times, you know, these are animals. Familiars can take the form of beloved pets, a totem animal, or even a helpful non-physical entity. The reason I'm throwing this in here is because a lot of times on the witchcraft side, you have a lot of animal familiars. And so I kind of just wanted to throw this in. Generally, within occultism, such as witchcraft and shamanism, it is a spiritual entity that will appear as a facilitator in the communion of the human, animal, and spirit realms. A shaman or witch is typically chosen to walk the path and be chosen by a spirit being or deity as their mentor. Most instances, this mentor will send forth an animal spirit to guide them or they themselves may take on the form of an animal spirit, sometimes only revealing themselves when they become enlightened to a particular point. In Christianity, they are seen as a demon that obeys and serves a witch. They are usually summoned for that reason. However, while these do exist, they aren't the majority Black magic users do use this as a practice in some cases. And, you know, as we all know, Christianity likes to villainize those that do not follow their practices in the way that they want them to, which is why most of the time familiars are not evil or demonic. But like I said, there's always, and I say this on my channel all the time, there's always both sides of the coin. And, and that's a part of duality and that's part of balance and that's just how it is but you know I thought I would give a quick you know explanation of what they are and then I would relay my experience with all of them so when it comes to spirit animals I believe that I have had at least a few spirit animals and like the first one is a snake that has to do with change and it's interesting too now that I think about it because 
in tarot, right, one of the cards that I constantly get, no matter how many times, you know, I do it, it's always the Wheel of Fortune. But what does the snake symbolize? Change, rebirth, transition, you know, stuff like that, which is very, like, Wheel of Fortune card, right? Another spirit animal that I've had is the crow, and the crow can be seen as a messenger from the spirit to the human world. So, yeah, it makes sense that I would have that as a spirit animal, but I also have had a guide. Spirit comrade guide, I consider them more of a spirit comrade that can transform into a crow. That's like his favorite form. And I've worked with him on like missions and things on the astral realm. And I just thought it was interesting too. And I've had a lot of like astral realm experiences with crows and dreams with crows. And in my neighborhood, like in the real life world with crows, um, I'm trying to think. I also have like a snake tattoo as well because I love snakes. I adore snakes. They're one of my favorite animals. They're so cool. They're so cool. I'm trying to think. What else? Um, a spirit animal. Oh, my dog ghost, I would say. He is very similar to a spirit animal, but he's more on the familiar end of things because he does help me from time to time on the astral realm. He'll astral realm. Um, project with me and we'll do things together. We'll have learning experiences. He'll protect me with some things. Um, he'll alert me when there's stuff in the house. I'll just know by watching him. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's about it. For I don't know if I really much vibe with animal totems just because that's not a culture that I'm too familiar with and um, grew up with because I feel like that's a lot of a Native American kind of culture-y stuff that it's more geared towards, whereas familiars and spirit animals are more like widely spread out through different cultures. But yeah, that's pretty much my experiences with that. But guys, hopefully you learned something from this video. Let me know, do you guys have a spirit animal? put it down below or an animal totem put it down below any uh familiars put it down below I'm curious i like reading everybody's comments and answering them so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video hope to see you soon peace out if you like watching these types of videos where i go into depth of different spirits and entities i highly recommend watching the mermaids video where I sit down with my guides in meditation and channeled in information from them and they told me that, well, you just gotta watch the video to know if they're real or not.